All right, so let's have a work through these questions here. Let's blow these up nice and big. Okay, so our first step is to find the functional group. These are all alkanes, but we'll have a look um, as we go through it. So we see that there are no double bonds, and we know this because the way if we spread this out, that one there is going, I'll just do it for this one, where each one of these little lines off is hydrogen, right? So that's one way to represent that. Another way to represent it is a skeleton structure. Okay, so each point here is a carbon, and we assume, which we can do here by adding the, the numbers, that each hydrogen, that each carbon is saturated. In other words, there are no double bonds. And the reason we can assume this is because we can look at any one. So if we look at carbon number one here, we'll number it here, and number one up here, because that's another way. It's got three hydrogens hanging off it and one carbon. Okay, so that's four bonds. And we know that the carbon should have four bonds. And we can see here at number two, and up here at number two, the expanded version, we can see that it's um, two hydrogens and two carbons hanging off. So it's all four bonds. And that's what this represents up here. In the skeleton structure, we just look at carbons and functional groups. And each end of a line, so end of a line, like is a carbon. So if we were to do methane, which is one carbon with four hydrogens, it would just be that, right? But everything else, so that one there would be ethane, where you've got a carbon there and a carbon there, and the hydrogens coming off the side. So they're the two ways to do it. And I actually prefer, as a chemist, not so much as a teacher, but as a chemist, I much prefer this version. So let's have a look at what we're dealing with. So question one, we've got one, two, so we know this is a straight chain because there's no side chains coming off. One, two, three, four, five. They're all single bonds, so that's an alkane, and five, so that's pentane. Nothing needs numbering, all is good with the world. The second one, so pent meaning five. Uh, the next one gets a little more tricky because we're one, two, three, four, five. If we go along this road, or if we go along this road, we're also five. And both of those are entirely valid. Like you'll notice that either either this one or this one, it's a little on the extreme side for the size there, either this one or this one, both are identical, right? They're both CH3s. So it doesn't matter which way we go. Um, just to be fun, let's number it this way. One, two, three, four, Five, except now we've got a problem because we want to keep the numbering as low as possible. And it doesn't actually matter in an alkane at all, really, um, unless you have side chains. And here we have a side chain, so we can't number it like that. So we have to number it one, two, three, four, five. And the reason we do that is to get this one here the lowest possible numbering. So Let's write this out. So we go, so we've got a five carbon long chain. So we know that that's pentane. Should we do this in working actually over here? So we've got pentane and we've got a one methyl group off the side. That's our methyl group, our side chain. And that would be two dash methyl. And we add those together to give us two, two methyl pentane. You see that there is a hyphen between the numbers and the letters, it's all one word, and away we go. So let's have a look at our next one. So we're going to six along this way, or six in the other direction. So it actually doesn't matter. Um, so we know that we have a hexane, again, no double bonds, and we have a side chain the size of two, and again, it would be exactly the same if we went this direction. I like to go sideways just to make sure, if it's equal, if it's even, just to make sure, keep it in my brain that I can. And that makes this one here our side chain. And our side chain has two, so it's an ethyl, it's an ethyl group. And we need to number it so it's got the lowest possible. So we could number in this direction, or we could number in this direction. But if we number in this direction, this will be a three. If we number in going from left to right, that'll make it a four. And we don't want to do that. So we 
number it from that side so it becomes three ethyl hexane again that should be one word now we get a bit trickier so our longest chain could not be that right because that would make because this one here would be one shorter than that potential okay um so we don't want this one now going down on this final one here doesn't actually make a difference so let's count how many we've got so that's a hexane and we can see that they're all um, saturated so that's not a problem like there's no more room for anything else to join there all single bonds and let's have a look so we can number from the left or the right if we number from the left hand side which is, is our natural inclination right we end up with this being a three and this one being a five. Whereas if we number from the other side, two and a four, and that's lower numbers. So these are both methyl groups. They are the same. And therefore it is a di because there's two of dimethyl and two, four. So we put all this together. Similar story down here, straight across the middle there. There's no double bonds again. So we come along here. Um, we have one, two, three, four. So that's a uh, butane. Oh, but spelled wrong. Butane. We like to call it in class. Um, and then we have two methyl groups here, and they're both at the same one. So what that means is we've got one, two, three, four. So if we number it from left to right, that'll be a two. It's dimethyl, we know that. We've, we've encountered this before. And it's two. Two. So that's what we do. We number them both because they're both on the same spot. So now we have two, two dimethyl butane. Um, now, okay, now we've got to number two different things at the same time. Longest chain being there. Uh, lowest number we're going to come up with is if we number it from the right hand side. First off, we have a hexane and we have a two methyl, four ethyl. Now we come up with another, we're going to throw another rule at you. When we're numbering, when we're naming it, we name it in alphabetical order. It doesn't actually matter. Um, the numbering matters. We want to keep the numbers as low as possible. Um, but we name it in alphabetical order. It's not a huge deal. A chemist can work it out. This is just a convention that we're using. So that means it would be easy as. And now we keep, oh, so easy as, I say that all the time, and that's actually not fair. This is a real challenge. I've been doing this for a very long time. That's why I find it easy as. So if you are struggling with this, that's okay. We'll get there through practice. Remember, all one word, eight. This question has caused numerous problems. It's my favorite. So find the longest chain you can. I like this part. Let's get groovier. Yeah, groovy. All right, heptane. All right. So there's three methyl groups, four methyl groups. There's our methyl groups. Now let's number them. So if we were to number from the other direction, what we would have would be, and see what we would end up with there would be, and if we add those all up compared to, and that's why we go with that one, because it's the lowest number possible. So we end up with, remember, one word, kaboom. That's a, yeah, that's groovy as I like that one. I'm going to call this part one, and I'm going to throw a part two in there as well. Okay, 